Hi everyone and welcome to this next video in the Simplify OpenTX series. If you're expecting the introduction to OpenTX Companion, I'm going to have to disappoint you. That's going to be the next video. This is going to be on setting up an arming switch, mainly because in the first video I, I put in like a very, very basic arming switch and this would be so much better um, and so much safer. Now, before we start, I, I need to say that this is for traditional models. So you have your receiver, you have your ESC plugged straight into it. Um, this isn't for um, flight controllers, especially not INAV, because what we're going to be doing is actually disabling the output of the throttle. So when we're disarmed, that does absolutely nothing. Um, but in stuff like iNav, we want this enabled so we can get into OSD stick menu, stuff like that. So ignore it for that. But if you've got a traditional model, then this will be ideal. So we're going to set it up using this switch as the arming switch. I'm going to be setting it so that that is disarmed and that is armed. But however you want it, when I, I'll, I'll just say put the switch in the arm position or the disarm position, just put it where you want it. Likewise, if you want to use a different switch, then um, you know just use that switch when, when I say to do that. Um, and the way this is going to work is when it's disarmed, this will do absolutely nothing, as I said. If it's in that position and you try to arm, it won't let you you'll be able to move it up and down with that in the arm position and it won't do anything until you lower this, disarm it, and then arm. It has to be low before you can arm. So even if you accidentally knock the switch, unless you knock it back and back again, it still won't arm. So it's a very safe switch. Okay, so the other thing that we're going to do is um, traditionally, a lot of people just update the channel values for this. We're not going to do that. The problem with uh, using a special function to update the channel value is what if the channel's reversed and then you've set your channel value uh, on the special function to minus 100, which you think is low. What if for some reason your ESC is, is reversed? With that disarmed, you're at full throttle straight away. So we're not going to do that. We're actually going to do it on the input itself, which again is a, another a safer way of doing it. So we'll dive straight into it. This will be using uh, some of the advanced stuff, which I'm going to deal with in later videos, but I'll, I'll try and explain a little bit on, along the way so you understand what's happening. Um, but we'll dive deeper into that in future videos. So the first thing we're going to do is go into the menu and we're going to go along and create a curve. So here we have our curves and we're going to create a new one. Just hold down to edit and we're going to call this D arm short for disarm or disarmed, but it's actually going to be DRM because you can only use three characters, but it will give us an idea of what, so we know what's going on. And we're going to change this to a two point curve. And all we need to do is set these both to minus 100. So that you end up with just a straight line flat along the bottom. And the, what, what happens here is whenever you move the stick, when this is active, it just runs parallel along this and it, it means there's no output whatsoever. So we've created our curve now. And what we're going to do is exit back out and we need to create a global variable. So this is our expo from my last example. So we'll create it in GV2. If you hold down, edit, and we're gonna call this one arm. And what this is gonna be is our arm state. So um, think of it in effectively like a three position switch. So we have um, zero, which is disarmed. And that's going to be uh, effectively our middle position. We're going to have one, which is going to be one position that's going to be armed. And then the other way, we're going to have um, what we're going to call sort of like a, a pre-arm or it's a, a an arm lock effect, more like it. And that's going to be negative one. So when we're up here and we're trying to arm, it's going to put it in that arm lock. So we can't actually arm until we disarm and then try the arm switch again. 
So we're going to, we can leave that at zero. It doesn't really matter. So now what we're going to do is create some of the logic to control all this. So the first thing we want to do is find out where the, uh, sorry, actually, no, the first thing we're going to do um, is add a couple down the bottom. And this is just going to tell us where the arm position is. So we need A equals X. And what that's going to say is A is this first column here. And that that's basically a feature on the radio. So it could be a stick, pot, trim, switch, anything like that. But in this case, we're going to use our global variables and we need that to be GVAR2. And we're going to see leave that at uh, uh, zero. So that's disarmed. So 64 is going to be very similar. A equals X. Global variables. GV2. And this needs to be one. So if 64 is active, we're armed. If 63 is active, we're disarmed. So now what we need to do is go right back up the top again. And the first thing we're going to do is find out if this throttle stick is low. So to do that, we're going to use A is less than X. And for A, we're going to set that to our throttle stick. And then we're going to set the value, which is X, to minus 98. And what that will do is when, when we get right down the bottom, it switches the switch on. You want it as low as possible. You may find if you need, haven't calibrated your gimbals or um, they're a bit off, you may find that 98 is too low, but you want that literally, as, it only activates as soon as it's down the bottom. But as I say, if it doesn't activate when it's right down the bottom, just raise that value up a little bit um, so that it activates. So next we're going to do logical switch two. And what we need to set this to is called an AND switch. And what that means is if these, whatever is in here is true, then this is working. So the first thing we're going to check, hold it down, go to logical switches, and it's going to be logical switch one that we just created. So that will tell us that the throttle is low. Now what we need is again, we're going to go to our logical switches and we need number 64, but we're actually going to reverse it so that it says not 64. So to reverse it, click the two buttons and that's it. And then what we're going to add on here is our switch in the armed position. So I'm going to move that into the armed position and that's there. So now you can see if the throttle's low, we're in the arm position and we're not armed, this is active. So we come out of here and we need another and. And now what we're going to be checking is that the throttle is um, not high effectively and we'd so this is going to check that we're not trying to arm when we can't so we're going to do the same thing hold it down go to logical switches choose logical switch one but invert it so again both buttons it inverts it and we need again logical switch 64 so we're not armed so 64 not armed and again we need to set this into the arming position so if we're up here and we're trying to arm this pops on so that the final one we need is another and switch and what we're going to do is say logical switch two because that is throttles low and we're trying to arm. So we need logical switch two and 
logical switch 63, which is our um, disarmed position. So at the moment, all it's doing is checking things and saying what we can and can't do. So at the moment, if you remember when we set it up at zero, which is disarmed, so um, that's active. If that throttle comes up, it won't work. So now what we need to do is, if we click exit, what we're gonna do is actually change the variable now. So if we page through, into our special functions. The first one, if you remember from the very first tutorial is our timer reset switch. So now what we need to do is add in the changing of the uh, switches. So what we want, the first one we're gonna do is add logical switch four. And this will be for arming. And we need to override or uh, adjust global variable two. Unfortunately, it doesn't give us the names that we enter here. So we have to remember it's two and we want to set that to one. So if logical switch four is available, we can arm. Now what we need to do is again with logical switches and we want logical switch three, which if you remember is in, we're in the wrong place. Oh, sorry about that logical switch free so we're trying to arm but we can't it's not working now because we've actually changed the value of this so what we need to do is go to adjust global variable two and now we're going to set it to minus one so if if we're in any throttle position other than all the way down and the arm switch is on and we're not already armed, then it will set that to negative one. And the last one, we're going to just use our switch in the disarmed position. So as soon as we hit the disarmed position, we're going to get again adjust global variable two, and we're going to set it to zero, which is normal disarmed. So we're setting armed, locked, and regular disarmed. So that should all work fine. So we can test it. So we disarm, we're set to zero. If we raise the throttle, it's now set it to negative zero. So if we disarm, lower the throttle, it should now set to one. It may have done it. It usually just flashes up really quickly with this one. But what we need to do is now actually apply it to the throttle. So if we page through, it's quicker to go this way around. And we're looking for inputs, go down to the throttle, hold down and edit. And now we want to just go in and we're gonna use switch, logical switch 64. So that is in the armed position. And what we're going to do is copy this. So just click it once, go down, click it again, then hold down, enter, edit. And then we're going to, we're going to choose our curve, disarm, and then we're going to invert this to not armed. So if we're disarmed, that's not going to move. If we're up here and we try and arm, that's not going to move. We disarm, lower the throttle, arm, it now moves. So that that is our, uh, our safety arming switch working. So if I put this anywhere, disarm, it goes straight right the way back to, down to zero. And again, it won't let you arm at all until you're right the way down, disarm, then arm again, then, then it's golden. So that works really well, but at the moment we don't really know what's going on. So what we can do is add in some feedback from the transmitter. So I'm going to put them, turn my volume up a little bit because it's set to zero. And what we're going to do is go along again to special functions. So what we know is if uh, we're, if logical switch 64 is active, we're armed. 
So we go to 64. We can play a track. Or you, know, you can do a sound if you want. But I should have an armed sound on here. It's probably all the way under T, isn't it? Right, so there we go, throttle armed. Hold it down, put the switch in the disarm position. Again, play track. We'll go down, go the other way this time. Throttle disarmed. These are my own custom sounds, but um, I'll show you how to make these and put them on in another video or there's sound packs you can download which we'll cover all that later on but there are some standard sounds already in OpenTX and the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a warning um, for if you're trying to arm but you can't so for that we need to use logical switch 3 so if you remember if that's up here and we're here that's now activated and what we can do is you you could set that to a, a track or um, you can have a a beep going off to let you know that you can't so put that on siren or whatever warning and you can have it play once or you can have it every second every whatever so if we exit out these should all work so we're disarmed if I Put that in that position where we're trying to arm but can't we'll get a beep every four seconds and there we're armed so that's how you create a really secure arming switch in open tx um as i say this doesn't adjust any um outputs so if you this will always be the the, the the arm and disarm lock will always be the correct way round for your throttle stick. So if you have to reverse the throttle channel, it will automatically reverse the um, arming and disarming. So it's a really good way of doing it. It's very, very difficult to accidentally bump it and, and activate arming. So yeah, I, I hope that you guys, if you're using traditional models, will use this because it's it's a really good way of doing it. But anyway, I hope you found this video really useful. Um, if you did a thumbs up would be great um, like uh, I always say I'm a really small channel so if you could subscribe and hit the bell that would really help uh, get my videos out there because stuff like this I think I think it's brilliant but you guys can let me know if you think it's crap thumbs down is fine as well um, but yeah until the next time please get out there fly your models like you stole them and have a great time and see you soon thank you goodbye